Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Your support is much appreciated. I just wanted to say, if you're new here, welcome. If you've been, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. It's Sunday and I'm about to cook or prepare breakfast for the family. And I thought I'll just film what we have most Sundays for breakfast. And then later on, I'll film what I'm going to make for Sunday lunch. with the breakfast for hubby um this is just leftover patties from last night i just prepared it now and then this is three eggs fried some flapjacks and some fresh fruit and that's the first one done now for the kiddos to get their flapjacks as well Sunday lunch I've done the Sunday breakfast already I just made pancakes and with some strawberries for the kids and hubby had some eggs and some pancakes and um, some burger patties I haven't eaten as yet so I will be having my first meal and my last meal for the day when we serve up lunch so what is on the menu for today it's um, mussels in some white sauce and then I'm gonna just have some chicken make some chicken spice it but put it in the air fryer Greek salad, just plain baked beans. Um, and then I'm also going to make some bolognese for the kids because my son doesn't really do mussels or prawns. He's more a, he's more a fish calamari person. So it's hot in this kitchen, guys. It's hot. So let's get this done.
I have removed all the muscles from the pot, I still have the muscle gravy in here with the onion and the garlic like I saw like you guys saw me do earlier. Okay, so I just need to just wiggle you guys here. Yeah? So here's the muscles basically. Okay, and this is just the pasta that's boiling. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a white sauce. Okay. I don't know, typically use margarine. I like to have real butter, but if you don't have, you make do with what you have. Okay, the leftover gravy from the mussels, from cooking the mussels. I first added the onion and braised that a bit, and then I added the garlic and just braised that as well, and then I added the mussels. Cook the mussels, remove the mussel from the pot. I still have the if you can call it the stock, the muscle stock in the pot, just added some margarine or some flora butter in here. And now I'm gonna add my... And now what I did earlier on is I took two and a half teaspoons of flour and I added some milk in here, okay? And the reason why I do it like this is that this really helps to avoid um, any lumps. So as soon as this goes into the hot pan, I need to start stirring for my life. So let me just get the milk close by as well and the cream as well. Okay, so here we've got milk. You can use any milk and you can use any fresh cream. Okay, we just got that on hand. And now we're going to add the white sauce or the, the flour. What do you call this again? Um, what do you call the slurry, slurry, something, something. I can't get to the name now. But it's the milk and the flour. And you can see it's starting to thicken already. So I'm just going to add a little bit of milk. Because I want this to cook on its own for a little bit. Just to get that flour, that raw flour taste out of the sauce. So we're going to let this summer for a while and just keep on stirring. We don't want it to stick to the pan. Okay, at this point in time, what I would advise you to do is to taste your seasoning. So see if you need um, if you need any more salt, if you need any more pepper. This is the point where you do that because you don't want to do it when the muscles go. You just season everything ready here in the sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. And also just a little, just a side note as well is that I've got my pan on low, okay? So you're going to have to just try and have a little bit of patience. So you don't want to have it on high and then you have to, it keeps on sticking to the pan, adding more milk, adding more milk. So you just want to just keep on stirring and as soon as you see, okay, it's thickening a bit too much, you just add a bit more milk and then eventually you just let it cook through. And let it become a little bit sticky, not too runny. And then you add your fresh cream. I'm going to add the parsley now already. Just adding some parsley. Where do I? Yeah, no help. Yelp may found it. Okay. I'm eyeballing. But um, for measurement's sake, I would say a teaspoon. You can see it's it's still thickening. So just keep on stirring. And whenever you add something, taste as you go along. Taste as you go along. Okay. So let's do another taste test. Mm. It's already tasting good. I think we're gonna need a little bit more salt. Testing the can I still taste the flour in the sauce okay so that's also why I keep on tasting to make sure that that I can't still taste that flour taste in the sauce okay spaghetti that's bubbling away here on the side Guys, 
guys, my kitchen is such a mess. Oh, the one thing I hate about making big meals and multiple meals is the cleanup. So, yeah. Okay, it's, getting, it's coming along nicely. You can see it's almost got like a pancake consistency. And that's what I want. Okay, it's just final taste. Taste. Mmm. Seasoning is on point. I can't taste the flour. I think it's just not so clay the bicky. Clay the bicky. Clay the bicky. Just a little more. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this bad boy. We're gonna add the cream. Ooh, listen, look at that. Okay guys, so I've added the mussels. I'm gonna just stir everything together and then I'm gonna let it simmer for another five to ten minutes. And then the mussel, the what's it called? A um, mussel in a white sauce is done. Okay guys, so the spaghetti is done and then we're gonna start with our meat sauce in the same pan. So I'm just gonna strain this quickly and get started on the meat. So yeah, this is I'm just gonna give this a few more minutes just to uh, sizzle away and then we're going to add the minced meat. I've added a heap tablespoon of some tomato paste and I'm just going to let that simmer away uh, as well and then we're going to add the meat. Because so I've added the mince and now I'm going to add the garlic and the parsley and the bolognese cooking sauce. Okay guys, okay guys so everything is in the pot. The other thing I wanted to also mention is that what I also add at times is I add about three, two to three tablespoons of um, tomato sauce. Add that to the mixture. Instead of adding sugar, I'd rather add the tomato sauce for the kiddos. Okay, so that's another thing that I added. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it simmer for a, for a while, about five to ten more minutes. And then I'm going to add the spaghetti and then let it. So that will be pot number two that's done and dusted. Right on guys, bolognese is done, spaghetti is done, whichever name you prefer, done. On to the next one. Okay guys, so I'm done with the salad. Let me just show you. Just a quick little, there was a leftover lettuce and some cucumber and I just chopped it up, put the cucumber and some feta. And then the beans, I just, I hardly had any mayo left. So my trick is always throw the beans into the mayo jar, mix it around into your bowl. You add some parsley and a little bit of pepper and voila, that's it. Now I'm just waiting for the chicken and then it's gonna be and now and now we're just waiting on the chicken and then it's going to be dishing up time. Hi there guys, I'm going to end my little video here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. Your support is much appreciated. I'm going to relax. I'm going to chill and Netflix. And I hope you have a blessed Sunday and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys for watching. Bye.